What's up? What's good? What's popping? What's cracking? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It's your man, Theo Butler. And what makes me come to you today? The topic of the video is, is religious conversion. Or have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? So, I want to say about a week ago, ironically enough, on a Sunday, after one of my team's football practices, an older gentleman approaches me. He said, hey, I don't know what made me want to come over to you, but do you have a relationship with God? I'm like, yeah. He said, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? I was like, ooh. I said, that's a loaded question. And he was like, well, what makes it so loaded? I said, well, first, I said, by your question, I said, I see where you're going with this. And I said, let me just explain it to you like this. I said, I was raised up in the church. I grew up Southern Baptist. And I was given at a very early age that big, thick white Bible. And I was made to read it. My aunt went to church damn near every day of the week. I went to vacation Bible school. <laughs> I went to vacation Bible school. I went to um, Sunday school. I went to church. I was in the church choir. I was on the junior deacon board. I was on the usher board. Like I did that, but that, that, that choir, you name it, I was in it. Did the Easter speeches, you know, where the kids had to stand up there and you had to know that line. And then my aunt, who went to church every day, made me sit down and watch Roots. I'm 52. So you know how old I was when I watched it, right? The, the original version that came on ABC, yeah. I don't have a problem with a person's belief. In Christianity. I really, really don't. But asking somebody that question well, this kind of person. You don't know that person's journey. You don't know that person's relationship with God. And to be perfectly honest with you, it's not your business. It's between them and God. Now, as I explained to this person, I understood exactly where they were going. Because he asked me, did I understand the sacrifices that Jesus has made? I did. I told him the story about the three wise men. I told him stories about Moses. I told him about how you're supposed to have faith. Like the woman who was in the wife and Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot's wife, didn't have the faith. So, I told him all about that. But then I asked him some questions. And I, I said, now, you understand that just like you have good and bad people in political parties, you have good and bad people in various religions. He said that he, I cut him off. I said, if you're going to tell me that the people in Christianity that are bad people aren't really Christians, I know some Muslims that are going to say the same thing about their fellow brothers. Let's not do that. Let's not see. I explained to him some things that he wasn't aware of. Such as the fact that if we look at Norwegian mythology, who is Loki? If we look at African mythology, who's a Nazi? It's Satan. It's the trickster God. He wasn't aware of that. He wasn't. It was irrelevant. What was relevant was this. Having spoken to my elders when I was young, I know that my last name is the last name of the man, the individual who purchased my ancestors. My ancestors who were brought over here from their homeland. A 
against their will. They were brought over here by Christians. Let that sink in. I had a woman tell me, a sister tell me that before we brought over here, we were savages. We were blessed to be brought over here. So that we could be So that we could receive his will. Yes. A sister. Said my people. Her people. Were savages. But let's look at this. I'm not mad. I forgive. I don't forget though. What I'm about to say is. Right. It's not wrong. You're not going to like it. But it is what it is. Christians and slaves my ancestors Christians separated the families of my ancestors Christians tortured my ancestors Christians raped my ancestors Christians mutilated my ancestors Christians murdered my ancestors Christians usurp the names of my ancestors, the identities of my ancestors, the culture of my ancestors, the language of my ancestors, the religion of my ancestors. Christians did all that. I'm not mad. I'll forgive it. But I haven't forgotten. Knowing everything that I know. And I told him that. Everything. Every painful sort of detail. And I said, while I don't question your beliefs, because at the end of the day, I don't care what you believe in. What I care about is how you treat me and your fellow man. I don't care what religion you claim. Because to be perfectly honest, the dude that you claim didn't call himself a Christian. He called himself the son of God. And he talked the talk and he walked the walk. There's too many of y'all that don't know that. I don't see anything wrong with what my ancestors believed in. That stated, I told the gentleman, very, very frankly, very, very calmly, you asking me the questions that you're asking me with the intentions that you intending is spitting in the face of my ancestors. That's how I take it. I don't like that. I would never ask you to change your beliefs. Don't you dare ask me to change mine because my beliefs, unlike your beliefs, they actually make room for your beliefs. They do. My beliefs make room for your beliefs because my beliefs don't really care about your beliefs. My beliefs care about your actions. So be careful. Stop trying to convert somebody by words. If you're going to convert somebody, do it by your actions. And then be respectful enough to notice that if their actions are mimicking your actions, you don't need to question them about their religious beliefs. I ain't saying, I'm just saying, peace.